Welcome back, you guys, or if it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by Galadon Gaming Clash Royale action, and yes, it's time to bring out the pig pen. We're talking about theoretical card ideas, and this one came to me, well, we have the three musketeers. We had the triplet princess card, we talked about that before, probably not going to happen. I still think that night and day is my best card idea ever, and I really think that that has a shot for actually, okay, probably not a shot, but it's the most reasonable idea I've had. Anyway, so the pig pen, the idea of getting three hog riders on the screen at the same time, kind of ridiculous, kind of impossible, definitely never going to happen, but just imagine, imagine if it could, three separate hog riders all dropping down on the screen together, that would be pretty tough to stop. And uh, at 10 elixir, maybe a bit of a discount over the four elixir per hog that we see right now. So I have some friends over here at Full Attack, a newer member, Grade A under A, familiar name there, and a couple other guys given a try to, well, just to see if they could get three hog riders down on the screen at the same time, but not only get them down on the screen, but a couple of other qualifications to this. I wanted to see them on the screen together in the attack, so it almost looks like they're being deployed at once like a pig pen card, and if possible, to win with it. Now, I tried it a few times in challenges and I could not pull it off. Just, just being honest with you, could not pull it off. It was ugly. Lots of players laughing at me. Lots of players smashing me, wondering what the heck I was up to. Or maybe thinking that that was my true strategy was to try to overwhelm them with hog riders. Uh, oh, it did not go so well. So right here, we've got a couple of players from full attack giving it a try. And really, obviously, as you can see, it's about the elixir collectors. You need to just be streaming elixir in the final minute of the battle in order to have a shot at getting, what, 14 elixir worth of hog riders? Well, I guess technically 13. A uh, four elixir hog, a mirrored hog, and then another four elixir hog after rotating back around. So you also have to have a fast deck with lots of cards that you can skip through really quickly towards the end of the battle. Right here, grade A under A doing his best to get as many elixir collectors down at once, but as you can see, it's costing him, taking a lot of damage on that tower. But again, he is biding his time. He is waiting for the opportunity to strike. Here it comes, hog one. Here comes hog two, cycling around, trying to get to that third hog rider as the other units move in. Hogs moving in on the inferno tower, and that gives him a chance to drop hog three. There it is, third hog rider. They approach, okay, well, he had three just for a split second just for a split second to converge on the tower, but he did have three on that Inferno Tower for just a moment. Pretty much accomplishing the feat, but ideally we would like to see those three Hog Riders on the Crown Tower. We go into overtime, obviously. This battle isn't over yet. He's got another pair of Hog Riders from the back. Here he goes, cycling through the other cards, trying to get back to the other Hog Rider. They stall out getting through those units. There it is, the third Hog Rider closing in. The freeze perfectly aligns those hog riders. They take the tower down together, and there it is. Triple hogs, the pig pen released, and grade A grabs a victory from Vexed. And yes, Vexed probably just that, uh, confused at how he lost to three hog riders on the screen at once. Now, Karan is up next, doing a good job. He had several attempts at this before he finally pulled one off. So we're going to check this battle out and see. Now he has a slightly different deck than we saw in the first replay, but a lot of similarities. Cheap cards to cycle through. The mirror card, obviously, the hog rider, and of course, the elixir collector. Now he's got some better defensive cards here, maybe the uh, musketeer and the valkyrie, of course. So it's kind of a hog, triple hog, I don't know, a pig pen trifecta? I, I don't know. So you've got a couple of elixir collectors down early. Karan, again, this is more about preparing during the first two minutes of this battle than it is trying to grind away at your opponent. You're just trying to set up and see if you can get that opportunity to throw those three hogs down, to get the pig pen out and to smear mud over your opponent. All right, so Karan dropping the Inferno Tower, maybe not the ideal card for dealing with the skeleton army. Okay, maybe that worst possible card, but Ice Spirit, then you've got the Valkyrie in there to try to control things. Here comes his opponent's Hog Rider after the Inferno Tower. But again, until you're into double Elixir, it really doesn't matter. Right here, Karan, so many Elixir collectors right now. 
and that's ideal, but really it's going to be better at Double Elixir to have that many Elixir Collectors down. So the early Inferno was kind of that insurance card to try to hold his opponent off from getting something in while he's trying to build that Elixir. So another Inferno goes down. We're just about down to a minute and 20 seconds left and Karan trying to decide what to do. Gonna go ahead and push here and get some damage on his opponent's tower. Hog Rider Ice Spirit works out pretty well. Hog Rider gets in three solid shots on that tower. A fourth shot before it finally goes down. And another Elixir Collector goes. Looks like maybe he will get around two. He's got, well, doesn't look good. Finally, a Valkyrie needs to sneak in there. There it is, going to control those skeletons, but the barbs get through, taking some damage on that right tower. And we are into double elixir. Here it goes. One hog rider, two hog riders moving forward, trying to cycle through the cheap cards. He doesn't have as many cheap cards as Grade had, so he's got to drop the musketeer. The hog rider is trying to get to the tower. One expires, and he momentarily maybe had three on the screen there as that tower finally does go down. So not quite getting it together like we ideally wanted to see. But technically, was that a pig pen? I say yes. There were three hog riders on there for a moment at the exact same time. Now, he does get the tower down, so he's got the lead. He's trying it again down the left-hand side. Two hogs moving forward, trying to cycle through those cards, getting the third hog. And watch where he drops the third hog. He's going to drop it from the center, and that is going to allow it to join its hog brethren. There it is. Once again, the pig pen card is on the screen. And there it is, a 2-0 win with Hog Riders everywhere for Karan. So here comes another replay from Karan. Really, Karan and uh, Grade A under A, the two guys from Full Attack that were doing a great job at making the attempts at this strange uh, card combination, trying to replicate what a pig pen would actually look like on the screen. So again, starting out, dropping the Elixir Collector, and 11 Elixir spent to drop two Elixir Collectors at the very beginning of a battle is a very risky move, very easy for your opponent to take advantage, and that golem moving in. Luckily, Karan has the perfect counter. Here comes the Inferno Tower, and it looks like his opponent. No, nothing to pair with the golem to really cause that Inferno Tower troubles. Had that mega minion moved in sooner, or say a pack of minions moved in, then things would have been more difficult, but the golem easily taken down. The mega minion goes chasing after the Valkyrie, and that push eradicated. Even now, Karan able to drop a third Elixir Collector down on the screen at the same time as his opponent, Slow, goes after his first. So we're down to the final two minutes. You can see Karan going to go ahead and drop a Hog Rider Ideally, trying to get an advantage because another way that you could succeed in doing this is to just get so far ahead in a battle that it's kind of hopeless. Kind of what we see occasionally with the Galatroll deck. If you really can just get ridiculously ahead, then you can start to do silly things at the end of the battle, like try to get three Hog Riders on the screen. So slow with another slow moving Golem. Hog pushing the Valkyrie right up to the tower. Love that move. The Hog sliding the Valkyrie right up there. That tower just about to go down. The Hog one more shot. That tower down to under 60 hit points. Now this will be the interesting conclusion to this battle. You would think that Karan is going to go after that left tower. But the Pigpen is going to go down the right lane. So watch for it after we get into double elixir. Once again, the Golem easily handled. The Mega Minion falls as well. The two towers of Quran still untouched. Another mirrored elixir collector goes down. Not looking good. You have to just have a sinking feeling at this point. Now finally, his opponent drops the three musketeers. Maybe it's a little late. Maybe it's not the best time to drop it as they are going to easily be handled. The pair on the left go down. The set on the right go down to the Valkyrie. Only a couple shots on that left tower. And now 30 seconds left. Another golem moving forward and this is the chance. One Hog Rider, second Hog Rider, Fire Spirit, Ice Spirit, trying to get around using the Zap spell so that he can drop it. And the third Hog Rider, there it is. All three Hogs going after the tower. They're all there for just a moment, and they annihilate that right tower. There are three Musketeers on the left, but it doesn't matter. The Hogs just blast it right through, and this opponent does not have time to even grab a single tower down. So Karan somehow uses the Pig Pen imaginary card and grabs a big challenge win. So these guys had a lot of fun trying these battles out, but this was probably the highlight. Grade A under A managed to get his opponent to rage quit here. 
getting so far ahead. And here are his three hog riders all right on top of each other. And a fourth, it's Quattro Porco as the hogs come in. Four hog riders wiping out the three crown win. And maybe the first time I ever saw four hog riders in an actual battle on the screen. So there you guys go, the pig pen card. Maybe it will never happen, but hey, we can dream, can't we? All right, let me know if you guys have strange card concepts. If I use your idea in a future episode, I will definitely give you a shout out. Thank you, as always, for spending a few minutes of your day with me. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for Daily Clash content, and of course, please do come back again tomorrow for more full attacks. Is the time you give me to talk at the end of these episodes getting short?